In this section of the course, we're going to explore Excel's What If Analysis Utilities. And if you've never heard of these before, you're going to find them on the Data tab. Over in the Forecast group, it's this little drop down here that you want. So there are three different What If Analysis tools. We have Scenario Manager, Goal Seek, and Data Tables. And we're going to be looking at each one of these in this section. And we're going to start out in this lesson by taking a look at Goal Seek. So what exactly is Goal Seek? Well, if we take a look at the screen tip, it says find the right input for the value that you want. And the way that I kind of see Goal Seek is it's, it's kind of a way of working backwards from an end point to a start point. So let me show you what I mean. Now, the example that we're going to use here is the example of a loan payment. And in order to work out this loan payment, we're actually going to use another formula that I haven't showed you yet in this course, and that is the PMT formula. And PMT stands for payment, and it allows you to calculate monthly payments on a loan. So we have our loan information just here. So this might be a loan that I'm taking out from the bank so that I can buy a new car. I'm borrowing the money over the term of 60 months at a rate of 3.5% per annum. And what the PMT formula will do is it will work out what my monthly payment is going to be with all of these pieces of criteria. So let's take a look at that function first of all. We're going to type in equals PMT. Now, the PMT function has five arguments, with the last two being optional arguments. Now, we're not actually going to use the last two in this calculation because we don't need them. So the first thing we need here is the rate. So the rate is what I have up here in cell B3. Now, the thing you have to remember with the PMT calculation is that it's going to work out monthly payments. So every value that you select for the formula also needs to be monthly. And currently, the rate that I've got selected in cell B3 is the rate per annum. So it's 3.5% for the year. So what I need to do is I need to make that a monthly rate by dividing it by 12. The next argument is NPER, and that just means the number of periods or the number of payments. So I'm going to be making my payments at the end of every month over 60 months. Now, again, if I had that in the cell as five years, I would then need to do five multiplied by 12 to get the months. And then the final argument that we need here is PV, the present value. And this is really the amount of the loan. So that is simply B5. I'm going to close off the bracket and hit enter, and it's going to tell us how much we're going to be paying each month. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that it's showing as a negative value, because the way that PMT looks at this is that it's coming out of your account. So you are down £436.60. Now, if you wanted to make this a positive value for any calculations that you're doing, you can simply put a minus symbol in front of the loan amount, and that will give you a positive value instead. So now I have my final calculation. I'm going to be paying 436.60 a month. Now, maybe I look at this and I think to myself, well, you know what? Actually, I can spare 500 pounds a month. And if I can spare £500 a month, maybe that means I can borrow more money. Or maybe it means that I can decrease the number of months that I'm paying this loan over. This is where Goal Seek comes in. Because by using Goal Seek, we can say, right, I'm going to pay £500 a month. Tell me how much extra I could borrow or how many months I could reduce the term by. So we're starting from our target and working backwards. So I'm going to select the payment cell. Let's go to what if analysis and goal seek. So let's remove everything from here. We want to first select our set cell. So for me, this is going to be cell B6. And I want to set this cell to 500 because that's how much I can afford. And then I need to specify the cell that I want to change. So it might be that I want to borrow more money, or it might be that I want to reduce the term. 
Now, in this case, I want to see how much more money I can borrow if I'm paying £500 a month. So I'm going to choose cell B5. Let's click on OK. And would you take a look at that? If I'm paying £500 a month, I could borrow £27,485. So quite a bit more than previously. And that is the idea behind Goal Seek. You tell it your target and then it kind of works back and recalculates for you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.